This is what we're going to need to make our high voltage ignition. We need a 12 volt battery, uh, soldering iron, flux, solder, we've got some heat shrink. Uh, most importantly, we need a 12 volt ignition coil. We have a five wire relay, just an automotive relay. This one is nice and came with its, uh, its own uh, connector. Um, a basic condenser, some wire, a few tools. Uh, in our case, we're going to be igniting a spark plug, so we're going to test it out with a spark plug and wire. Uh, a few soldered uh, connections, uh, a bolt, and let's get to it. So we have the bare bones components here that we need to make the igniter. Now I want to make it as compact as possible, so what I've decided to do is, is utilize the mounting bracket that came with this 12 volt coil. We're going to mount the relay here with a bolt, and the condenser will mount to that same bolt. Everything will be nice and compact and close to the coil. What I thought we could do would be to affix this bolt to the bracket by welding it. I suppose if you don't have a welder, uh, you could scuff up this, maybe even drill a hole and put some JV weld in there to hold that bolt in place. That would probably be sufficient. So we've got our little bolt tack welded to the bracket. We're going to install the relay and then the condenser. I had to nip the tip of that bracket off just a little bit to get that bolt through there. Uh, drilling it was just going to mangle it too much. So this should work all right. Just make sure when you put it in the condenser, the lead in the condenser is going towards the positive terminal on the ignition coil. It's a little tricky to get in there, but it did uh, it did work. Now this lead off of the condenser, although it would work and would fit under there, I'm going to put I'm going to cut that off, and I'm going to put something a little more secure on there and solder it on. Now that we have our relay and our condenser bolted down and we've got uh, a nice connector on the positive side of the condenser oriented with the positive terminal on the coil, we can start working on our pigtail. One thing we're not going to need in this pigtail is the yellow wire. That is the normally open side of the circuit. Uh, we, we're not going to use it, so let's just get rid of it. You can either cut it off uh, right at the connector. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just put a piece of TIG wire down here and see if I can get it to pull out completely. wire that's going to be our ground we have our blue wire that's going to be our positive and then the red and white wire red's going to be your normally closed white's going to actually be one leg of the coil the magnetic coil that that keeps uh, the, the switch happening so we're actually going to connect those together so we can get our intermittent um, circuit to control the coil. So we'll work on the white and red wire to begin with. Our normally closed and will be one side of the magnetic section of the relay. So we're going to have this nice and tight. 
find a good place to cut that off. And those will get soldered together. Alright, so we got that a little more snug, the white and red wire, so we can connect that up to the positive terminal on the coil, and we'll do the same with the positive side of the condenser. So the negative wire, we're going to bring up to the negative post on the coil. And then we're going to add another wire, a small, it's about three and a half inches long from, and we might shorten that up a bit, that's probably fine, uh, from the post connecting the negative side of the condenser over to the negative post on the coil. And then we'll have to have a lead off of this post going off to the battery. So let's connect up this little lead here to the negative side of the condenser. side to go to the battery. So let's make that real quick. So let's connect the negative lead that goes to the battery to the negative post on the ignition coil. And we should be good if we connect blue to positive and black to negative. We should be getting some sparks. Let's give it a go. Let's connect our negative terminal to the battery. Put this little wire together just so we can get some spark off the negative terminal. And there we go. Let's see how far we can get it to go. Alright, let's recap what we did. Off the 5 pin relay, we're using the blue wire, which is terminal 30, as our 12 volt power supply. We've got the white wire and the red wire. The white is 86, the red is 87A. We've got those tied together, going up to the positive post on the ignition coil. Also, we've got our, our standard condenser, the positive side going to the positive post on the ignition coil as well. Then we've got the black wire, which is the negative coming off of the relay. We've got that going to the negative post on the ignition coil. We've got a lead going over to the condenser, the bolt that we have the condenser bolted to. Uh, so we're grounding that out over to the negative on the ignition coil and then we have a lead going out uh, so we can ground um, back to the battery here. And that's it.